I haven't made a video in a few months now. Um, cars have been running. Actually, I do have a little low oil pressure on the yellow one. But the purple one is, is running fine. I've been using that for the summer. Um, do you want to bring up the power steering unit again? So this is the one that I had rebuilt a couple of years ago. And it uses the earlier uh, Ad West unit. And what happened was it started leaking. And I had thought that it was leaking from the power steering pipe. So I went and ordered some power steering pipes. When to actually go ahead and start changing them. But I found out that it wasn't leaking from the power steering pipe. It was leaking from the top of this uh, control unit. This is the control unit here. So I do remember a couple of times is when I was pushing in the shaft through the control unit. The edge was actually chafing. Uh, it was a very sharp edge. And it was cutting into that seal. So I thought that was causing the problem again. And I thought, okay, I will take it off and have one of my colleagues in my Triumph Club machine it. So here you can see it's actually machined now. And I do have a an older or a, maybe a younger unit, which is similar. They actually, I think the factory understood the problem and then they actually machined this. Now the other thing was it was leaking and it was leaking i've already taken this one apart but basically what it is is there's an there's a torsion bar inside here and then there's an o-ring i'm not gonna yeah it would help not to drop it and um here's the thing taken apart as you can see it's it's a square ring not really an o-ring shouldn't have dropped it but and that's where it was leaking from now so i've got to replace that another interesting thing is on this thing here there is another square ring and i don't know that's also rubberized i'm not sure what that does but i'll try and take take that to a shop and see if I can get that fixed. Now the, the another interesting thing with this is this I went on YouTube and there's a Land Rover guy. This unlike the later control valves this is the only one this is actually a hardened pin and a colleague got it out with a hardened pin punch and so he didn't damage it fortunately. But that was quite good. Now another thing I haven't when th this is the earlier Ad West control unit, and it has actually um, a screw that screws into this thing here, and you adjust it. So I have no clue how to adjust it, but maybe I may rig up something and uh, try and get it working. But basically, this is the cause of that leak that I had. It was the O ring, or in this case, it's a square ring that was leaking through the control unit. So. I do plan to change that. So what I did, I replaced the rack. I have a parts car and um, a couple of racks, a rack, a spare rack. And so that I put that one in. That one's working now. And I will rebuild this. Now, another interesting thing my colleague pointed out is that if you take this out, um, it can only go in one way. There's actually a, if you can see that, there's a, a gear. It's a little notch in there, so it only goes in. There you can see you can see it there. I'm trying to zoom into that. There's a a gear missing. It only can go in one way. Because I asked him to make sure you put this in the right order, but he said not to worry. It's, it can only go inside this one way. So that was something. Um, in the other later control units, there's a a, a um, O-ring on the other end. So I don't know, you know, what harm that will do by not changing this one. But I'm going to go ahead and eventually change this ring, square ring, um, and rebuild it at some point. But as I said, I haven't really been doing anything with this Triumphs. They've been running relatively okay. Um, so I thought I'd just update, uh, you know, another steering rack issue that I've had, and hopefully uh, I'll rebuild it. 